What's up, everybody? Today I'm making my short debut. My first time wearing shorts, even though y'all only see my upper body during these videos. I remember back in, I'm gonna make this quick because I want this video to be about you, not me. I remember back in elementary school, motherfuckers used to make fun of me for having big calves. And guess what, bitch, I'm Calvin. Cause I'm wearing, I'm, I'm, I got my calves out today, bitch. <laughs> Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about something that's extremely pertinent to everybody walking this earth, right? So I want to talk about self-love versus narcissism, right? And the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because there's a prominent figure in online, in online subculture and he goes by the name of, if you don't know who he is, is essentially a dude who, who went on a massacre, killed about seven people, including himself. His name's Elliot Roger. And if you don't know the, the influence of what he did, essentially he killed a bunch of people and now he's worshipped online as some kind of God. People treat him like God, right? Because he spoke what was on a lot of people's mind during his, uh, when he was alive, he spoke what was on his mind in a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of online posts. So now that he's dead, he sort of achieved the posthumous fame status, right? I'm bringing this up because not only is it about is it about to be the 10 year anniversary of what's the what's the negative connotation of an anniversary? The 10 year remembrance of what he did, but there's a lot that even to this day is getting unpacked about the story. But I don't want to talk about that. The main takeaway from everything that Elliot posted and Elliot, every, everything that Elliot did during his life stemmed from his own self-inflated ego and narcissism. In his videos, he said shit like, I'm beautiful. I don't, I don't see why you girls don't, what you girls don't see in me. I'm the perfect guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I deserve girls much more than all the other boys. These are the literal quotes of Elliot Roger, right? So I want to talk about self-love versus narcissism in this video, right? So essentially, in life, your self-image is going to dictate what you do and how you do it. When I first, uh, just for, for a quick example, because as I said, this video is about you, not me. When I first enrolled in college... I chose something that was not in my uh, interest as a person, right? And the reason why I did that is because I, deep down I feel that I really wasn't good enough to pursue what I was really pursuing. And now I'm paying the price for it because my bitch ass has a bachelor's and I still can't find good paying jobs out here. Maybe it's the area, who knows? But my self-image is what dictated the following four years because i graduated within two years past two years after after college i'm paying the price for it because i wasn't focused i wasn't on my purpose i didn't have what you would call self-belief i didn't have any self i didn't feel good about myself to really pursue what i was meant to pursue and i paid the price for it so let's bring this back to your life What's the main thing that you want to accomplish on this world? You could be a YouTuber, you could be a rapper, you could become a pres whatever you want to do. What is that? Now, instead, rather than watching this video, why are you not doing that right now? And I'm not trying to shame you for it. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving y'all a perspective here. Because in life, you got to zoom the hell. Sometimes you got to zoom the hell out and think about what you're doing. If you work in a nine to five right now, or you're about to clock into a nine to five tomorrow, later today, whatever. Is that nine to five leading towards something that you want to do for the rest of your life? Ask yourself this. Simple question. Is your nine to five with fucking scrubbing floors, making sandwiches, whatever you're doing, filing taxes, whatever you're doing. Is it leading towards what you want to do within the next 10 years? Ask yourself that. Because your self-image is going to determine 
how your life is going to play out. How you feel about yourself and how you view yourself is what you're going to express onto others. You might not realize it, but everything that you do boils down to your self-love, right? And tying this back, tying this back around to Elliot, motherfuckers who, let me stop cursing, individuals who have an overinflated sense of self they're more so concerned about what they can gain and now everybody should be concerned about what they can gain from a situation right but at the same time you need to know that not all, this world isn't gonna revolve around you and it never will so while you're here you need to contribute as much as you can and to the best of your ability whatever talent you may have whatever abilities that you can bring into this world to provide as much about you you need to be doing that right now. So when it ties back to narcissism, not you, when you're an, if you're a narcissist, you believe that everything around you should bend to your whim and you shouldn't have to contribute anything because you're just like that. Everything should just bask in your glory, right? So with individuals who truly feel like that, it, it, it and tying this back 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 around to Elliot, people who really feel like that truly feel like not only do they have nothing to offer except, you know, just bad negative energy, killing people. Like, not only the not only does that not bring any good energy into the world, but it's showing that you can't bring any value as a person. So therefore, you need to take the lives of others to make up for that. And when you're when you're a narcissist, you feel like you always need to take from others in order to feel good about yourself. Because deep down, if you really felt good about yourself, your attitude would would trump all those neg all those self limited beliefs. Because you think a month, you think of you think an individual with a bad attitude is gonna gonna care about if they're um. If if a, if one or two girls rejected him, you think a you think a a dude who truly feels good about himself deep down is gonna care about how random strangers, uh, random girls feel about him? No, you will not care about that because you're fo you're more so focused on how what value can you bring to the world, and what can you really bring to the lives of others. So. Uh, recently I watched a video. It was, it was about, it was about somebody who everybody needs, essentially the video said everybody needs to have a certain level of self disdain or something that they dislike about themselves in order to improve or move forward. My thing is this, you need to love yourself to even want to wake up in the morning. I hope y'all know that if you don't love yourself, why, why, why is you, why is you even getting up, uh, Why'd you even get out of bed this morning? Some, some of y'all in bed right now. I'm not shaming y'all, but I'm just asking. If you don't love yourself, you shouldn't. You, why should you get up in the morning and do anything? Right? So you don't need to hate yourself to want to improve. You should want to improve because you do love yourself and you want to see yourself reach your best potential. But when you're a narcissist, you feel like every you feel like everything in this world is entitled to your uh, your image everything needs to fit exactly how how it should play out everything needs to play out this certain way and that's not how life works that's not how any of this works not for you not for obama not for not for the not for bill gates not for anybody how it plays out in the story does not play out how it's going to play in the real world and just just a random example shrek is a cult classic film and it exemplifies this to the best extent not everything's gonna play out all storybook fantasy-esque sometimes you gonna have things that a throw a wrench in the goddamn system sometimes you're gonna have a, a what's it called a monkey wrench things not gonna play out the way you plan and you need to be okay with that because no matter what phase you are in your life, you always gonna have a story to tell. You always gonna have 
you always going to have some something to share with people. So everybody has a story. Everybody has a everybody has something that they could share and bring to the world. So you just need to find that. And that's self-love versus narcissism, man. Self-love can add in value. Contribute uh narcissism is feeling that you entitled to everything. When nobody owes you nothing. Like, you got to understand, we living on a dying rock floating in space. Who's to say that you deserve this type of life? Or you deserve this type of... All these external things. Who's to say that you deserve all this stuff? You should say that you deserve it. Because you create your reality through your attitude and through your actions and subsequent uh, making a plan and all that. You create those uh, you create those opportunities for yourself. But with that being said, that's all I have to say, man. Um, I'm about to chill today. Probably just head to the park. I got my shorts on. Can you can y'all niggas believe that I I was sexually harassed as a middle schooler? Like bitches used to say I have a big ass and all this weird shit. Like. What the fuck? Oh, I'm I'm dead dead ass. Like these women would literally, goddamn these girls would literally come up like walk around and try to like touch me and shit, man. Like, but as soon as I try to do it, I fucking that's beyond the point. So that was my video, man. Self love versus narcissism. So narcissism. Um. I have another documentary coming up. Y'all stay tuned for that. I have more videos, more scripted content that I'm looking forward to. So with that being said, y'all, that's all I got to say for now. You don't have to hate yourself in order to be become better. You don't have to hate yourself and hate everything about yourself to want to improve your life. Because loving yourself is going is going is going to be the motivation that you need. To want to improve in the first place. Yes, nobody's perfect. Yes, nobody has all the answers. Nobody has everything figured out. But who's to say you can't try your best? Because you don't always need a reason. You don't always need a reason to wake up and like yourself, man. Like if if the first thing you said in the morning wasn't I love myself and the last and the last thing you said before you went to sleep last night. If it wasn't I love myself, then you need to rethink your life, buddy. If the first and last things you say before and after you go to sleep aren't I love myself, you need to think some things out, man. But with that being said, I'm out. Take care.